with Carly Thornbear, the game winner tonight for the Pioneers, winning 2-1 to one over King University. And Carly, um, kind of a little bit of payback for Tusculum. We kind of lost a tough one on Sunday, losing 1-0 to West Georgia. But we come back, and your game winner with 3.9 seconds left in regulation wins the match. So just talk about uh, just talk about the goal. Oh, that felt great. Um, three seconds left. We deserve that after our West Georgia game. I think that goal deserves... Uh, points for five different people it went off all of us in the box. I just happened to the last touch, but I'm super proud of my team for being there in case it came back out. Your back line did a very, very good job, especially in the second half. Uh, but I remember at one point we were, uh, Tuscan was out shooting King by almost an eight, eight nothing margin. We held possession for most of that second half and then got a good push there at the end. Uh, just talk about your defensive effort tonight. Yeah, our defense, we came into this game knowing that King was very tough on their set plays, so we tried to limit their corner kicks and direct kicks in our third of the field, and we pulled that off. They had no corner kicks the whole game, so that's a stat I'm proud of. Well, now you head into, you go on your first road trip uh, in regards to re uh, regular season. You make the long trip over to Jackson, Tennessee. You got a couple of matches, and before we start a conference play next Wednesday, what are some of the things you and your team are going to try to work on this weekend when you take on Union and uh, Alabama-Huntsville? We really want to start keeping possession so we can move forward as the team. Um, if we're able to get one goal in the game, that's great. So we need to hold our defense to shutouts. And we've been trying to do that, but we've just come short a couple games now. So that's something we're going to be working on going forward. Carly Thornberry, the match winner tonight in Tuscombe's 2-1 win over King.